Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 is a game that many have nostalgia for. Most people you ask would probably have this in their top 10 Dragon Ball games. Hell, even I do. But after playing it again recently, I came to the realization that this game is kinda overrated. I'm not just saying that to have a hot take, I want views too. It seems like when discussing any form of media, the term overrated has such a negative connotation, but just because something is overrated doesn't mean it's not good. Just not as good as we think. I always had the opinion of Infinite World being a better game, and that still stands. One of the places where I feel Budokai 3 falls short is the story mode. Dragon Universe is this game's version of the story. Unlike in other Dragon Ball games where you usually only play from Goku's perspective, here you can pick from 11 characters and play from their point of view. For instance, if you play with someone like Yamcha who only has a few fights in the series, it's going to be a shorter experience than playing with someone like Goku and Vegeta who are more active in the story. Now, where I feel the story mode really falls short is with the presentation. In Budokai 1, every major fight and story beat had cutscenes that would play prior. In Budokai 2, they switched over to a board game style, but even still we had short interactions between characters using their in-game models. Here, we just have JPEGs. I'm sorry, but that's just so lazy to me. How do we go from having full-fledged cutscenes in 2002 to still images and voice clips in 2004? What was their mindset here? Sometimes you wouldn't even have voice lines and there would just be some text on the screen. The only saving grace is that you can fly around the world and find unlockables and sometimes even side stories. It was really cryptic in a good way and it added a lot more replay value. I guess more of the work went into enhancing the cutscenes for super attacks during gameplay. Speaking of which, let's talk about the gameplay. I think it's great. I never got deep into the game's mechanics, so I never got good with combo cancelling and stuff like that, but from what I do know, it improved upon everything in the previous two Budokai games, and it's still fun to play 17 years later. I would say that this is one of my favorite combat systems in a Dragon Ball game. If it wasn't for Dragon Rush. Dragon Rush is garbage. I will never understand how people can defend the Dragon Rush mechanic here, yet bash on Ultimate Tenkaichi's Rock Paper Scissor gameplay, when they are so similar to each other. If anything, the probability of guessing the right input in UT is higher than it is in Budokai 3. It wouldn't be as bad if maybe it could only be used once a match, but as far as I know, if you can activate hyper mode, you can keep doing it. This is one of the worst gameplay mechanics in a Dragon Ball game to me. It might not happen in every match, but it's frequent enough to get annoying. I'm so glad it was taken out of Infinite World. So in conclusion, I think that in spite of its flaws, Budokai 3 is still a really solid game. It's not a masterpiece by any means, but can you really say that about any anime game? In the comment section, let me know what you guys think of Budokai 3 and whether or not you think it still holds up now. If you disagree with anything I had to say in the video, then let me know why. I would love to start a discussion. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.